Today is a day that I've been waiting for for a long time. We're, we're starting a brand new series on some exciting big bore black rifles. Now, to make it even more exciting, we have been force fed from the media so much absolute ridiculousness, I don't even know if that's a real word, so much foolishness regarding black rifles and ballistics, I just can't wait to dive in to some of these big bore examples and talk some factual ballistic language with you. So I'm out at the range. It is very cold, it is very windy. I apologize for the wind sounds if I'm not able to contain them completely. We've got a couple really exciting pieces. I've got an ice storm that's on its way in. Imagine that. Um, but I had to get out here and do some sighting in ahead of time. So I don't have a lot of time, but I wanted to invite you nonetheless. The first piece is a Wyndham Weaponry pistol. And this is in uh, 450 Bushmaster. Uh, it has an SBTAC brace. I'm using uh, an EOTAC sight on it. And it is true to its namesake. It is called the 450 Thumper. And uh, thump it does. I also have with me another piece I'm excited about. This is a short barreled rifle. It is manufactured by CMMG. It is called the Anvil. And this one is chambered in 458 SOCOM. Now, this is kind of a special gun. And if you watched what we've been doing on the CMMG Mutant, the 762 by 39 gun, you'll notice a lot of similarities. This particular one is it starts life as a 308 size gun, an AR-10 platform, and things are shrunk down a little bit to, to fit uh, the 458 SOCOM round just perfectly. So we, we don't have a great big 308 uh, uh, chassis gun where we're running a shorter round in it. it. It's made to completely accommodate that shorter round. Similar to what you see done with the AR-15s, but everything is just a little bit bigger and a little bit beefier. And sometime in the very near future, we'll disassemble it and we'll take it apart and, and we'll look at a, at a 458 SOCOM AR-15 and then we'll compare it to the 458 SOCOM Anvil. We're also going to be working with uh, 375 SOCOM and, uh, and uh, a few other big bores. And, and we wouldn't be doing justice if we did include, you know, the time-honored the time 308 762 by 51 round uh, as well. So we'll bring that into the mix. Uh, We'll compare it to 300 AAC blackout and we'll have uh, 556 by 45 as a baseline because everybody knows so much about that particular round. Today, um, again, I apologize for all this noise from the wind. Um, I've got a storm coming in. I just got my sighting in done. Let's put a few rounds downrange with the Anvil in 458 and with the Thumper in 450 Bushmaster. And uh, to save a little bit of time and, and for safety purposes, actually, it's glare ice out here. And uh, I've been really lucky not to fall on my head several times already. I'm not going to push it anymore. From this position, we'll just work on the steel because we don't have to go down and check a target. You certainly know when you hit with these things. I've chosen this position that we're shooting from right now for no other reason than there's a little bit of snow, solid snow here and crunchy stuff and not glare ice like the rest of it. Let's put some rounds on the shootsteel.com target. Shouldn't have any problem hearing it hit from here. When I hit it, <laughs> there's, there's no problem hearing it ring. That's the 450 uh, Bushmaster Wyndham Weaponry 450 Thumper pistol. Let's see what the 300 grain solid brass round sounds like uh, from the 458 SOCOM out of the Anvil. No, no problem hearing that either. So both of these guns have things about them that are really interesting and kind of exciting. The uh, Wyndham Weaponry Thumper pistol, I like the status of it being a pistol because you don't have all of the, uh, the, the extra NFA paperwork and, and hoops to jump through. It also makes it easier to travel with it. And since I have it in my hand, let's put a few more rounds on the steel.
<laughs> There's no question when you hit it, that's for sure. Now the anvil, the short barreled rifle in the 458 SOCOM, it is an NFA firearm. This particular one is a short barreled rifle, but you absolutely can get it as a Title I gun so you can keep it uh, reasonable to purchase without all the ridiculous paperwork and a little bit easier to travel. Um, it's not that difficult for me to deal with short barrel rifles, so that's what we're going to be doing. And because there's a lot of data on the market for 16-inch uh, barrels, I'm excited to measure it with a short barrel so we have something to compare it to. And I did check the targets after we were shooting them. We're using 300 grain solid brass uh, ammo from SBR Precision. And I wasn't quite sure how the ShootSteel.com targets were going to like that from around 50 yards. There's no marks on them whatsoever. Just some really pretty golden circles on there, but nothing you can feel. Might as well put a few more down there. This bigger chassis really, really tames the recoil on this thing. The ice is just starting to come down. Again, I apologize for all this wind, so I'm going to clean up and get out of here. I get the, uh, the luxury at this point of uh, skating around all of this glare ice to try to pick up this brass before getting out of here. Um, I wish we had more time, but we just don't today. But we're going to do a lot of in-depth work on these different big bore black rifles. We're going to include some gel tests, we're going to use some high speed photography, and we're going to uh, discuss ballistics, including ballistic coefficient and, uh, and, and muzzle energy. The, the muzzle energy numbers are amazing on these things. So I hope you enjoyed this short, quick preview of what we have coming up soon. I wish the weather was better, but there are a few things that I can't control. If you did, please click like, share us with your friends in your vast social media universe, subscribe to the channel if you don't already, and make sure to hit notify so you know when we upload a new video. Uh, visit us over on full30.com. It's another really nice video hosting site that is pretty specific about this type of material so we don't have to worry about videos disappearing like we have on some of the other ones. Check us out over on Patreon. Uh, we have a small community over there that allows you to get a little bit more involved with what we're doing on the videos and we always have discussion going on on Facebook at facebook.com slash guntestvids. Come over there and join us. Until next time, have fun and be safe.